This crack in the D4 block, although it's minor, it's kept us up at night. But today, we're gonna fix it. So a lot of folks have recommended that we drill this out and maybe uh, metal stitch this. I think that's what we're going to do. And I got a set of tapered plugs from Pioneer Automotive Industries. Actually found these on eBay. It comes with a 13 64th drill and a tapered pipe thread tap to go with it. So there is proprietary uh, methods to metal stitch this that would probably work better than what we're gonna do. And the problem is the cost is way too high for us to afford and the availability is just not there. They were several, I don't know, a dozen, 14 weeks out before we could even get them. And we wanna get rolling with this project. We got the sleeves in, we're ready to put the crankshaft and the bearings back in here. So we're gonna go ahead and metal stitch this. It's also in a place that I'm not too concerned of because of where it is. I just don't want it to spread. Getting set up to drill this. Dad's got the drill out over here. And for this repair, I've got my tap, my drill, the plugs. I'm using Loctite 648. This is the green Loctite like we used on the bearings. And tap magic for thread cutting and some brake cleaner to clean it off. We've already stopped drilled this right here, so I'm going to start here and just drill this one out. And I'm kind of going to mimic the angle of the metal here. Boy, that one's sharp. That one blazed right through there. All right, I'll tap it. Let me blow this out with air. Put a little thread cutting compound oil on here. And I'm going to try and mimic the angle that I went in here. And these are a tapered tap. There we go. They say you want to take the tap in just to where the tap is barely protruding out the inside of the block. And the same way with the plugs. So I'm going to feel and I'm actually right there right now. I would go a little bit more. A little past. more, you think? Oh yeah. We'll go a hair past. We'll have to clean our tap off. That thing is sharp. I think we're going to degrease the pins that we're going to put in here too. Put a little bit of green Loctite on there. And we're going to screw this in. Now I got a 3 8 12 point here that'll fit on that pin, just perfect. I want to kind of feel to make sure I get through the inside. I think they said right about where it snugs. I don't want to go too much because I don't want to spread that crack. Alright, I'll call that good. A lot of people take a hacksaw and just score it, and you don't want to get it too close because we're going to have to peen it later, and we can grind it off later. But they just score it. You can tap these off with a hammer, but that makes me nervous. I'm going to cut it off with my die grinder, at least score it just enough that it'll come off. I'm going to kind of define this crack. It looks like it makes a bit of a jog right here, and then comes up into this Dell pinhole and then it jogs over and comes down to this pin right here we just put in. I think we've decided that we're going to go ahead and start our next pin right here and kind of overlap that hole just a little bit and we'll have to either drill or file that out. We're not going to worry about this top part of the crack. I don't think it's necessary. It's not going to seal anything. This gasket's going to seal around here. We'll put Glyptol and silicone in there. Dad just pointed out that crack can't go anywhere anyway. It's it's done. It's done what it's going to do. So we're going to go ahead and center punch this right here. Where do you think? Right there? Is that too low? Or I'd keep it as 
closer to that thing a little bit. A little closer, no, you no, think? No, that's fine. Right there? Yeah. I'll drill this one out, and then we'll stitch everything up in between. And for these two starter ones, I'm going straight in. goes. Our pin will go into this pinhole a little bit, but it will also seal it up. We can grind it out. You'll have fresh metal essentially. I'm not going through yet. Well, that's a lot thicker there. It's twice the thickness as that first hole. Yeah, it is. I'm about an eighth of an inch or so out on the inside. That's enough then, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, we'll, we'll stop right there. It's well into that hole. Oh yeah. This is actually about perfect, I think. I will uh, file it out by hand until I get the dowel pin to fit nice. Yeah, that'll be good. We're good. I'm about flush, actually, is all. We'll go right there and I'll cut it off. We don't really know for sure what we're doing here because this is all new to us, so it's basically only what we've seen other folks do and we're kind of experimenting on our own. I, I think it's gonna work in the long well, run. Well, and this is a good crack to experiment on because it's not critical. All you get is splash oil running in this oil galley. Yeah. It's nothing really structural. There's no water or it anything. It isn't like in here. on the yeah. head or the top of the block here where it's really gets a lot of heat either. Yeah, this it's a good one to learn on, really. I'm gonna grind these down just a little bit just so we can see a little better. Kind of messed up and I nicked this surface here. I'm not happy with myself. That'll seal under the gasket and some silicone. I've got to be more careful in the future, but we'll get this close and then maybe even with a Dremel and then dad will file it so that we get this machine surface as close as we can get through here. Like that? Yeah, that'll work. We might be a little close, but we're experimenting here and I think by practice what I've heard is you want to have a slight angle and kind of stitch it opposite directions all the way up here and we'll kind of just follow this crack up to here it's going to get a little tricky in this seam right here because this metal also gets thicker right there too so we'll start here and work our way up I'm going to angle this one a little bit from this side. I don't want to get Very, too too aggressive. Yeah, maybe, I wouldn't go any more angle Maybe than that. like 15 degrees. Yeah, 10 or 15 I think is all you need. Yeah. A little bit more of my green Loctite. So I'm thinking on the next one. We're going to get a little bit closer to that last pin. Uh, I think it's better to err on the side of caution and have your hole more into the last pin than too far apart. We have good thread engagement all the way through that last pin in there, so I'm not too worried about it. I got a little bit generous with the Loctite on this one. You can definitely see we're in there at a bit of an angle. And I, th I think that is the stitching part of this art, which I think this is kind of an art, is to, I guess the threads pull against each other in different directions and keep this pulled. Tight. And I think that green Loctite's really going to help us. I think that's snug enough. I'm a little afraid to get these too tight. Well, it's thin there, and too. And it's thin, and we have that green Loctite on there, so I think we're going to be okay. Can you feel it inside? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's through there about, I don't know, a quarter inch or so. Oh. So we're, we're good. 
And this is just for work and I've kind of ground that off. Later on when we get this all stitched in, I'll grind these just above flush and then we'll peen them. So I'm going to continue this. I'm not going to do every single one of these on camera, but you get the idea about a 10, 15 percent degree. We'll stitch it back and forth all the way up, just like a sewing machine. What we're looking for here is to have full thread engagement into the last pin that we put in all the way down. And that's what we have here. That looks pretty good. And remember, these are tapered taps, so the further you go in, the further they're going to be apart. So you're going to need to take a little more than you think you're going to need. So we've done the first one in straight, the second one in at an angle from one side, the third one in from an angle at the other. We're going to put this fourth one in straight again and repeat the process. That's where we're center punching them. I don't know if you can see that tiny dot right there above the last pin we just put in. we're happy with the results got a little tricky right here in this seam where the crack migrated off and then went straight up we're going to grind this off we're going to leave a little bit up here just so they're above the surface so i can peen it uh, up here we're going to leave it even a little bit further high i'll peen it and then we can finish the product and that'll give us a little bit more material to try and match this nice finished surface here I've, I've lost my grinder privileges because I got a little bit <laughs> zealous with it and got into the block a little bit here. So, Cleaner says that he's going to do all of this. I'll peen everything, but he's going to finish the grinding, and he wants to peen the top of these by hand, the yeah, top two. I'll, I'll peen these by hand. I want this surface up here perfect. We don't want to uh, have a problem there. Yeah, so. I agree. Yeah, you can see threads go clear through that hole, yeah. clear to the we'll, back. We'll file that out easy, I think, and then we'll run a drill bit through there. And Dad was saying that we're going to put the pin, that dowel pin, back in there. We'll lock tight it back in after we get that all set. Hopefully this will be the end of this crack story. All right, go cleaner, go. That one is one where you could take your radius thing and just cut in there a little bit. You trust me to do that? Let me do it. <laughs> That's what I think. I don't like that thing with that shield on there. Well, nobody likes safety. Wait, that's not oh, right. It's, it's all right. Oh, I see it. Peanut, you can watch it pull that little bit of thread that was protruding into there. Right. And kind of incorporate that metal into the cast iron block. Sounds like Jetson's car. <laughs> I'm good up yeah, there. Yeah, that looks pretty good, actually. I got it's a little high yet. Let's see if I can blend this out a little bit better. I'm gonna blend it with this air hammer, and then Dad's gonna hit it with the needle scaler to finish it up. Got your baby. Well, that blended very well, except where I messed up and I got a little close with the grinder here. You could see a couple of nicks, but you know, from a distance, like you can barely tell. And you really can't tell that that's not already in the casting. And we got a little bit to clean up right here, and then we need to drill that out. And we're going to use a little bit more of an abrasive pad on here. But that is all looking really good. I'm very happy with this. And it's not JB Weld. Sorry, Paul Harvey. I think JB Weld's great, but this is better. Uh, 
I'd say we're good. Yeah, I, a little silicone on there, it'll it's seal fine. that fine. Yeah. We'll put our gasket in some silicone. A little bit of rat tail in you're almost there. I think it is yeah. there. I don't I don't want it loose. No. I don't want to drive it in and then not have to drive it out again. Yeah. Well we're gonna put green Loctite on there and it's gonna be in there. Here. <clears throat> so we're checking to see how far out those other dowel pins are. So that we make sure that we get this one equal to or slightly less than what those are. Look looks like uh we're just under a half an inch okay 450 i'd call it all right here's your pin let's see how it fits it starts easy it'll drive right in i'm pretty yeah. certain we ought to clean these others up really good too yeah we will we'll roll this block over here in a minute and do the inside but let's get this pin in so it can be a Kieran. While we have some reasonably warm weather, it's what, 50 degrees today? Yeah. But we're expecting some snow here in the next few days. Got our light tight. Need to just tap it, probably. Oh, it's going in fairly easy. It's got friction fit, but I wouldn't mess around too long. Oh, that we got time. We got plenty. That's how far you got to go. Okay. A little, little bit, more. bit more. Nope, that's probably good. Yeah, you went. It's a little it's, further. It's a little far. That's, that's fine. fine. We're good. That'll be good. Okay, let's take yeah. a look at the inside. So right there is the inside. You can see where these pins go in, and you can see how we alternated them left to right and then straight to lock everything in there and we're going to take a grinder we'll grind that down a little bit and you can see the glip doll in there from before when i did this but we'll grind these down and then i'll glip doll everything again and i'll wrap that grip glip doll up around the top where that small crack was i'll get some in behind this pin here and that'll seal all this up really well from the inside Got those ground off and cleaned up. Now we're ready for some glip doll. So we used about eight stitches on 7J's block, actually 4G's block now, and we're very happy with the results. Time to put a little glip doll in here. Had it sitting in the sun out here. Because I don't want to ruin a paintbrush, I'm just using some Q-tips to dab a little bit on there. I've already cleaned all this out. That looks really good. That's going to seal up our stitch from the inside. And I put a little glip tool up here on the top from the outside. Any oil that might get up there, it'll seal that crack and kind of roll it back inside the engine. We're going to call it done. Blended fairly nice. Actually, the worst part of it is when I ground this out to put JB Weld in it. Totally unnecessary. Yeah, you kind of can see those pins a little bit in there, but the silicone will seal that up. I'm very happy with the results here. I do want to thank you for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. Is that the Loctite? No, this is Tap oh, Magic. where's your Loctite? Right here. Okay, don't mix them up. No, they kind of... <laughs> <laughs> Ted was a little worried because the Loctite and the Tap compound look the same, and... That'd make for a bad day to get that tap Loctited in there, wouldn't well, it? Well, it wouldn't set up that quick. Not, but not that quick, but I don't think that's something we, we want to do. We don't want it in there.